why computer science. Yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting thing. So I grew up in uh, the 1980s and um, it was a time when we were just beginning to get computers in our homes. I had a Acorn Electron and this was part of the drive, I understand, by the government to try to get children in England to have access to, school, to computers in their schools. And there was a BBC computer, which was, I think, just marketed by the BBC. Uh, these computers were made in the UK. And then there was the Acorn Electron, which was the smaller version of the BBC computer. Um, I got one and I was fascinated by it. I couldn't really understand how you could give it instructions and it would generate outputs on the screen. I couldn't get my head around how it could control something. So I found that fascinating. And I spent a few years of my childhood writing adventure games and video games in assembly language on the Acorn Electron. Um, and just was amazed by the creativity that was enabled by computers. Um, you know, that was early childhood, uh, and at that time I wasn't thinking about computer science as a profession. I, I didn't even know what that meant, really. Um, but I was fortunate to do an engineering and computing science degree at Oxford. And as part of that degree, I got exposure to what computer science is. Uh, in particular, I remember taking classes in algorithm design and learning to formally reason around about what a computer program is. And I found that so fascinating that you could write down mathematics and you could prove that your program was doing what it was supposed to be doing. And I loved that systematic scientific way of creating something through code. And you know, that then I I carried into my master's degree at Penn. And then when I was at Penn, I took a class on AI. Uh, that was not my first exposure to AI because I had taken a neural networks class at Oxford and a vision class at Oxford. But it was the first time I'd seen the breadth of what AI is. And I remember thinking, this is amazing. This is, this is going to um, enable so many things if we can actually create intelligence within a computer. And um, that led to me remaining at Penn.